Welcome to the Canada QBank demo video for the clinical decision making QBank for the MC CQE Part 1. Our QBanks are continuously updated to reflect changing examination content and testing patterns. We have helped thousands of medical students and physicians from 178 countries pass the AMC CAT of Australia, the MC CQE Part 1 and MC CQE Part 2 of Canada and the PLAB Part 1 of the United Kingdom, the SMLE of Saudi Arabia, and the USMLE of the United States. As soon as you purchase the subscription from Canada Q Bank, you will receive an instant confirmation mail with your login, password, and membership details. Enter your name and password in the account login section that can be found on the top right-hand corner of our website and click Login. You will now be taken to your dashboard. On the dashboard, you can see all the question banks available and your subscription details. Select the MCCQE Part 1 question bank. Next, click on the MCCQE CDM tab. 1. Create Test To create a test, simply click on the Create Test tab. This will launch a test window with the most commonly used test criteria. You can also customize the test according to your preferences. You can choose the test mode, the difficulty level, multimedia or regular text questions. You can choose the subjects, used or unused items, or your preferred combination. Next, click on the red Create Test button to launch the test. In the test window, you will see the exam interface. It typically offers a list of 6 to 40 options. You may be asked to select only one of these options, select up to a specified number, or select as many as are appropriate. Some questions specify the exact number of responses to be selected. For example, list only one. Exceeding the number of responses requested will result in you being given a score of zero. The interface also allows you to customize your settings, such as font size. You can flag the questions within the test window that you want to review later. There is a timer which shows the remaining time in the test window. Click on Lab Values to see all the normal lab values for blood and urine tests. Next, you have the calculator. Click on it to launch the calculator and make the calculations if the question requires you to do so. The notes box allows you to write down any notes or note down the points you want to remember from the questions. These notes will be available in the My Questions section of the members area. For each question, select the answers you think are correct. You can also strike out the answers you think are incorrect. Then select the next button to move to the next question. Once you end the test, you will able to review all the MCQs and the explanations. 2. Review My Tests the Review My Test section is arranged by timed, untimed, and tutor mode. It allows you to view the analysis, review the test, or retake a test. You can also share the ID for your test to invite a friend to take the same test and discuss the results together. The Review tab allows you to review the test along with the correct answers, incorrect answers, and explanation. The View Analysis section shows you a snapshot of your overall performance analysis, the status of your correct, incorrect, and incomplete answers. It also shows you the performance analysis by categories, dimensions of care, physician activity, and question difficulty. The Questions tab provides you a detailed list of questions you have marked for review, along with the answer that was chosen, the correct answer, and explanation for the question. The CDM questions often have more than one question, and each of the questions have more than one correct answer. The total score for the case is adjusted based on the number of choices and correct answers. This section allows you to review your previous mistakes while answering CDM-type questions. The Study Topic section allows you to study several topics at a time. Simply choose the subject from the drop-down menu and choose the topics you want to study. Next, click the Study Topics button. This is a valuable study tool to revise key topics before taking your exam. 4. My Cases section. Now let's have a look at the My Questions section. Here you will get access to all the questions you had marked for later reference during your tests. If you have added the question to your My Questions section, 
then you will review it here in the My Questions tab. If you've added a flag to the doubtful questions that you want to learn about later, you will find these MCQs under the Flagged Questions section. If you have added your notes within the MCQ, then you will able to review it within the Questions with Notes section. 5. Overview Here you will see your performance and on the right side you can see a graph that shows the average performance of all the other students taking the tests. There are three separate performance graphs available in this section. The performance graph will calculate it according to the timed mode, untimed mode, and tutor mode. The test progress section. In this section, you can see the summary of your last 10 tests and your performance on each one of those tests. This section helps you to track your learning progress over time. The overall performance analysis. In this section, you will see how many distinct questions you have used from the QBank and how many MCQs are remaining. In the My Status sections, you will see how many MCQs you have answered correctly and how many MCQs you have marked incorrectly. Performance Analysis by Categories In this section, you can monitor your performance according to the subject. You will see how you're performing in each of the tested subjects. You will be able to identify your weak subjects and you may choose to invest more time on that particular subject or practice more MCQs. The Standard Deviation Graph This graph allows you to monitor your progress and provides a visual representation of where you stand in the competition. The bell curve shows how the majority of the test takers perform. The farther you are to the right, the better it is for you. A high percentile usually translates into excellent performance score on the real exam. You will also find a cue card section with over 1,000 cue cards to memorize important medical information. That completes the walkthrough of the CanadaQBank.com user interface. Subscribe today and pass your exams with the highest scores possible.